I can never remember Dr. Baiju's face, but I don't mind. I just remembered something. I forgot to help Dr. Baiju prepare medications. I may be a corpse, but I am in much better physical condition than Dr. Baiju. Dr. Baiju's prescriptions are the tops at preserving my voice. I did an impromptu performance for him as thanks, but the snake he keeps around his neck fainted away. <laughs> oh, now it ducks up Dr. Baju's sleeve every time I'm around. I only discovered afterwards that snakes are very sensitive to vibrations. Baju? Ugh, that guy. I can smell mist flowers. It must be Dr. Baju. What is he doing here? Uh, are you okay? Do you feel faint? Is your stomach sore? Or is it a sore throat? I got it. You're fatigued from all that adventuring. No? You're fine? Phew! <laughs> Otherwise, he would have made you drink some traditional herbal medicine. It's so bitter. Everyone has faith in Dr. Baiju's medical skills. He's the right guy to go to when you can't figure out what's wrong with you. Oh, the rumors, you say? The only one that I know for a fact is true is how disgusting his medicine tastes. It's not just the kids who find it bitter. It's left me with some horrible memories, too. I've always thought there was more to Chi-Chi than meets the eye. But it's impossible to have a conversation with her when Baiju's around. Hmm. We could wait till Baiju makes a home call to one of his other patients and corner her. You want... Baiju to make a medicine to take away my pain? I understand your intentions. But mortal medicine has no effect on Adepti. 